Hello everyone! Uh, here's another video on our uh, principles of steel design. So for today, we will have a recall on the applied or the actual bending stress, shear stress, and deflection of beams. So to recall, beam are structural members acted upon primarily by transverse loads. Na? So the loads are perpendicular to the length of the beam na? or the member. So let us say, if this is the beam, na? so the beam, usually the beam is laid horizontally. Uh, and the loads are acting perpendicular to the length of the beam. Na? So we call this transverse loading. Okay. So the beams, there are many names applied to beams. No? So if we have a purlin, that is a roof beam spanning between trusses. We have the stringer, the main longitudinal beam in a bridge. Then we have girder. No? So when you say girder, that is a big beam which carries also beams in floor frames. No? Uh, then we have header, streamer, spandrel, rafter na, are commonly used as terms for beams. Na. Okay, so beam is carrying a transverse load. So the effect is that the beam will bend. Na. So beam is subjected to bending. Uh, but sometimes, no, or in cases, in structures, we have also beams that carries axial loads. Na? So that is, we have already the combined effect of axial load and bending. Okay. So for this discussion, we will consider beams that is acted upon by bending. Na? So transverse loading, which will produce bending and shear to beam and also the beam will deflect due to the loads okay so modes of failure number one we have bending number two shear and deflection needs to be checked nah, uh, because that is uh, hindi naman uh, okay no? tingnan natin yung beam naka deflect na uh, naka deflect pa tapos sasabihin natin safe yan pero Medyo malaki-laki ang deflection di ba? So, needs to be checked Okay So, we have here actual or applied bending stress Or flexor stress na? Bending or flexor So, if we have a simply supported beam here And then we have the uniformly distributed load And if you look at the cross-section So, ito yung cross-section natin ha? This part of the beam uh, so, bali, kung itong pen ko yung beam, na, itong pen ko yung beam, ito, uh, tapos supported, uh, so ito yung cross-section, kung tingnan natin dyan. Okay? So, let us draw any cross-section. Ito yung cross-section natin. And then, we have the neutral axis here. Na? So, if you recall, na, the stress distribution of bending stress is that the neutral axis has zero stress and it increases uniformly as it goes outward. Na? So the maximum stress there is at the outermost fiber of the cross section or outermost part of the beam. Na? Uh, then if this is a simply supported beam, when it deflect, na? Uh, so let us say ito yung pen ko. Uh, pag nag-deflect to, ganito, no? pag naka-deflect yan, so notice that the upper part is in compression while the lower part below the neutral axis is in tension. So that is why this is compressive stress, no? increases uniformly from zero from the neutral axis to maximum value to the outermost or upper part and the lower portion is in tension. No? Uh, so same, 
zero at the neutral axis and increases uniformly to a maximum value at the outermost fiber. Okay? So, the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fi the fiber is C. So, I place a subscript C sub C, no? Subscript C for compression part and subscript T for the tension part. Okay. So, recall, in terms of stress, the bending stress is MC over I. Where M is the moment, C is the distance, no? As what I have discussed, distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. Uh, so, depende na yan kung tension or compression yung kinoconsider mo. And then, I is the moment of inertia. Uh, so, I hope you can recall how to compute moment of inertia. No? Uh, a plane figure uh, from our statics. Okay. But, the bending stress MC over I can be written as M over I over C. Where the quantity I over C is represented by S. No? And we call this the section modulus. So, meaning... The bending stress now, MC over I, can also be written as M over S. So, moment over the section modulus. Okay? So, memorize these two formulas for bending. Na? Uh, MC over I or M over S. Uh, so, S equal to I over C. We call it the section modulus. Okay? So, note again. So, the subscript. C sub T or the subscript T meaning tension and the subscript C meaning compression. So, either you compo, uh, compute tension or compression stress, so use the corresponding C value. Okay. Actual or applied shear stress. So, take note, we have beam shear. Huh? So, this is not the shear stress that we have in simple shear. So, this is beam shear. Okay. So, siguro, if we recall, uh, if we have this uh, material and then in our simple stress, this is subjected to a force. Uh, uh, force. So, this will fail by this will fail by shear like this. Uh, uh, so, when you apply a force on the upper portion, na uh, then let us say the lower portion is uh, fixed uh, so possible this will fail by shear like this na so this is shear failure so that is simple shear and the uh, st shear stress there is the shear force over the area uh, but here in beam shear we have here the vertical shear stress and the formula to compute is a VQ over IB uh, this is a recall of our mechanics, huh? strength of materials. This is discussed there, no? in that course. Okay. So, the effect is failure of beam in shear vertically. So, let us say, ito yun. No? So, pag may whole beam ka dyan, tapos naka-fix or may support dito, tapos may shear force V ka. So, possible, this will fail like this. So, this is vertical shear. No? Okay. So, meron din, tinatawag nating horizontal shear stress. And this is also equal to VQ over IB. But what is the effect? The effect is the splitting of the beam fibers horizontally. Uh, so let us say, for example, na. So let us say, uh, I will just use my hands, no, my the palm of my hands. So let us say these are the fibers of the beam here, na. And then this will deflect, this will bend, na. So pag magbend to, possible, the adjacent fibers will split, na. Uh, so, that is splitting of the fibers horizontally. So, that is, we call horizontal shear stress. Okay. So, vertical shear and horizontal shear in v beam has the same formula and has the same value. No? Due to the shear force acting. But, we have different effect. No? So, as you notice, vertical shear, ito yun. Uh, horizontal shear, ito yan. Uh, so, let us say, may dalawang uh, fibers kang consider. Tapos, this will be stressed by VQ over IB. So, possible, this will split. Uh, so, mas split sila. Na? Huh? Okay. So, in our section, usually, we use the S-shape, the I na. I form, yung itong mga ganitong cross-section. 
yung first part sa plate number 1 nyo, no? Uh, so, ito, W-shape or the S-shape, no? Uh, W-shape or the S-shape, mga I, no? Uh, because uh, channel, pwede rin, no? Pwede rin, yan, nagaganan. C, no? Yung C natin, channel. Okay. So, pag, ano, if we will use this cross-section as our beam, then, in this type, no? The critical part of the shear is the web. Ha? So, that is the part of the flange carries very small shear force. Na? And also, it will be stressed by shear a very minimal compared to the web. Okay? Ha? So, that is why we have the average web shear stress uh, in which we neglect the flanges and we consider only that the one or the part of in W shape, the part that carries the shear force is the web. So, shear force divided by T, uh, D, T, W. And D, T, W is the area of the web. Na? Uh, ibalik, ko, ibalik ko in the previous slide. Uh, ito yan, di ba? Uh, so, di ba this is the part of the web here? Na? Uh, so, TW is the thickness of the web. And then, we have the D here. Na? So, D over TW. Uh, so, that is the area of the web. Uh, so, ito na yan, ha? So, average web shear stress, considering that only the web carries the shear force. Okay? So, we have here, V is the maximum shear stress. Now, although in our strength of materials, na, siguro, if you recall, no, pag may ma-recall, na, baka nalimutan na lahat, na, so, if this is the cross-section, you can solve for the shear stress as, at any fiber or at any point. Na, uh, but, in the case of steel design, na, we are interested on the maximum stress na kasi yun ang i-prevent natin na so we will look or seek for the maximum value na of the applied or the actual stress developed in the material kasi kung ano yung maximum stress na develop or applied yun ang i-resist natin na uh, so dapat the member na so in this case the beam can resist or can hold the load imposed on it Okay? Okay. So, Q is what we call the area of the moment above the considered element. And this is A prime barred Y. Uh, so, let's say, this is the neutral axis. And since we are asked for the maximum, no, we refer it to the neutral axis. No? Okay, later, no? we will discuss it. So, the Q is the area above the neutral axis here, no? A prime. And then, if this is the centroid, itong blue, then the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid is barred Y. Na? So, area prime barred Y is the moment of the area na? Uh, above the element considered. Uh, I is the moment of inertia. B is the width of the considered element. Uh, so, since we have here the neutral axis, dito tayo. Ito yung B natin. Na? Uh, why is it neutral axis? Uh, because in shear, na in shear, the shear stress distribution in the cross section of the beam, na so again, ito pa rin yun, na uh, wag kalimutan kung ito yung beam natin, may mga loads tayo jan, na vertical or transverse load, kasi horizontal yung beam natin. Uh, ito yun kung tingnan natin, ito yung cross section ha, uh, ito yun, uh, ito yung dino drawing ko dito. This is the cross section. Uh, by the way, tagalog ako ngayon na. Uh, uh, kasi in the review uh, either English or Tagalog ang gagamitin ko pag maggawa ng video uh, nalimutan ko tuloy mga bisaya manday mo <laughs> mga bisaya manday ta uh, be smile, be smile, be smile no? uh, so uh, be happy in listening to and viewing my video no? okay. so the shear stress distribution is like this no? zero at the outer portion and then it increases like this no not linear no the increase is not linear i think parabolic no? 
uh, not linear and maximum at the neutral axis. So, kaya, kung tingnan mo dito, kung ilagay mo yung, i-plot mo yung flanges, di ba, sa I-beam, na ito man yan, ah. Uh, tapos ito, uh, di ba, nasa outer part yung flanges. Uh, that is why the flanges considered not to carry shear stress at all. Na, it is mainly carried by na carried by the uh, web na, kasi yung stresses nandito na yon na so mostly that is concentrated or mostly that is affecting the web of the w shape or the s shape that we have or the channel na if in case may channel ka ito na, ganun pa rin nandito yung shear stress na din okay sige so, we have here beam formulas. So, beam formulas are used na, or are formulas that have been derived already based on beams with common loadings. So, if in case the beam given in the problem falls on this and then we have already the memorized formulas, so we can use the formula right away in order to solve for the maximum moment maximum shear and the maximum deflection. Uh, pero if in case the beam is so simple no, na hindi na kailangan mag-memorize ka ng formula, no, pag wala tong mga formula na to, you can draw the shear and moment diagram. Uh, of course, pag given yung beam tapos walang formula kasi the beam given does not fall on the uh, beam with common loading wala, hindi tayo, wala tayong formula dyan so anong gagawin natin for the maximum moment and maximum shear draw the shear and moment diagram na, uh, ang deflection, paano? Uh, solve the deflection using your ano ba yun? Uh, double integration method, area moment method in theory of structures yan ha Okay, sige. So, itong number one, simply supported with concentrated load at mid-span. So, pag ang span L, this is half, L over 2. No? Uh, ganun rin dito sa kabila, L over 2. Okay, next we have here. Simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load. Uh, ito yan. Uh, maximum moment, WL squared over 8. Uh, shear WL over 2 Madali lang ito to, Shear, di ba? Uh, kasi the total load, load is WL no? Uniform load times the length uh, Then, dalawang support no? At both ends So, WL over 2 uh, Ganun pa rin to, di ba? Total load is P divided by 2 So, P over 2 yung uh, Support reaction And the support reaction there is where Or is the value of the maximum Shear force Okay, we have cantilever beam with concentrated load at the free end. Ah, kayo nang uh, magbasa dyan. Ah. Cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load. Ah. Now, good if the beam is uh, if the beam is determinate. Madali lang isolve natin yung maximum moment at maximum shear. Ah, yung deflection, of course, we need to memorize the formula for deflection. Diba? Hmm. Pero, pag indeterminate yung beam, na, pag indeterminate yung beam, wala talaga tayong magagawa dyan. Uh, we need to memorize the formula kasi hindi madali mag ng maximum moment and maximum shear for indeterminate beams. Na? Okay. So, we have here, next. Uh, Fully restrained beam with concentrated load at mid-span. Ha, ito, indeterminate na to. Uh, kasi, fully restrained, fixed at both ends. Uh, so, we have here, uh, fully restrained beam with uniformly distributed load. Uh, so, maximum moment, WL squared over 12 at the support. Uh, by the way, the moment at mid-span is not WL squared over 12. That is at the support na. Uh, so, take note, the moment at the mid-span is WL squared over 24. Ah, by the way, pag known mo lang tong maximum moment, so, moment at the support, WL squared over 12, yung shear, madali, no? Re uh, reaction, WL, total, divide by 2. Madali mo nang masolve ang moment sa mid-span. Just cut, no? Uh, ba In strength of materials or mechanics, no? Ah... Uh, 
our instructor, your instructor, na uh, uh, so taught you how to solve for the moment at a given point, na no? just cut and then sum up moment at that point, na no? okay. Then we have prop beam, na no? so prop beam fixed at one end and then with a simple support on the other end. Ah, uh, by the way, this is prop cantilever beam, na no? so may cantilever beam ka pero may additional one. Okay, uh, then we have the prop beam with uniformly distributed load. Uh, so, in our reviewer, yung uh, re-recommend ko sa inyo, authored by Engineer Visabilia, no? sa Sir Visabilia, marami ito. No? So, I listed only some of them. No? Uh, marami ito. Itong nasa listahan ko, no? itong nasa video, yun ang pinaka-common no? common loading na ma-encounter natin. Okay. Check. So, we can have a problem. So, number 1, we have here a box beam shown in figure ST-102 supports concentrated loads of 8 kN and 4 kN as shown, na? as shown, na? So, neglect the weight of the beam. So, this is the cross section box beam, no? So, uh, rectangular figure pero there is a hollow portion na no? in the inner portion okay so question number 1 find the moment of inertia of the box beam then find the maximum horizontal shear stress acting on the beam and then find the maximum bending stress acting on the beam okay sige so we have here na no? Okay, so let's solve, na? So, number one, the moment of inertia of the box beam. Okay, so ito yan. So, we have here the neutral axis, no? So, of course, the shape of the beam, the cross-section is symmetrical. So, the neutral axis uh, is at the geometric center, of course. Na? So, ito yung centroid natin. Diba? Okay. So, ito yung neutral axis. Okay. So, recall for this, we use the formula for the moment of inertia of a rectangle with respect to the neutral axis. And the formula there, I is equal to b h cube over 12 so b the base h is the height huh? okay over 12 so again this is for rectangle only huh? rectangle only and moment of inertia with respect to the neutral axis okay so also I will apply subtraction huh? I will use the moment of inertia of the rectangle of the outer whole area then I will subtract the moment of inertia of the hollow portion no? inside. Uh, so I have here IX so 200 no? B the height is 250 cube over 12 minus if this is 200 minus 25 minus 25 so this is 150 no? uh, and the height 250 minus 25 minus 25 so a height of 200 na? Uh, so that is why we have here minus 150 times 200 cube over 12 uh, so that is equal to 160 416 667 millimeter to the fourth ok number 2 we have here the maximum horizontal shear stress acting on the beam na? ok so formula VQ over IB no? Okay. So this is the beam and then this is this does not fall on our common loading, no. So wala tayong ganitong forma tapos may formula tayo sa maximum moment and maximum shear. So what will we do is to draw the shear and moment diagram of this, na? Okay. So we have here AY and CY the reactions, no? Uh, so solve for the reactions. So, I hope alam nyo kung paano mag-solve ng support reaction sa beam, ha? This is statics. Uh, this is already steel design. 
Okay, uh, alam nyo yung ginagawa natin dito. Recall lang muna. Recall sa strength of materials na. Uh, tapos, di uh, kasunod nito, di ano na, still design proper uh, when we will be designing. Okay? Na. So, we sum up moments at A equal to 0. So, 8 times 1.5 plus 4 times 4.5 clockwise moments. Minus counterclockwise moment, which is CY times 3. So, from that, we can solve CY equal to 10. Uh, then, we can sum up vertical forces. So, downward, 8 plus 4, 12. CY is 10. So, meaning AY is 2. Na? Uh, so, downward equal to upward forces. Okay. So, we can now draw the shear and moment diagram. Uh, so, ito yan, ha? Uh, so, AY is 2. And then, CY is equal to 10. Okay? So, by the way, maraming hindi marunong mag-draw ng shear and moment diagram. Draw the shear and moment diagram from left to right. Now, wag right to left. Okay lang? Okay. Ah, so, ito. Sige. Okay. So, up by 2. Uh, AY, no? Uh, so, up by 2. Uh, then, no load. This remains horizontal. Then, minus 8, downward. So, 2 minus 8, negative 6. Uh, from B to C, no load. Horizontal. Uh, no load. Hindi katawag. <laughs> no load. Horizontal. Uh, then, you have CY, which is 10. So, negative 6 plus 10. So, up by 4. No load. Uh, then, at D, you have the concentrated load for downward. So, it will close to 0. Okay? Mm. Moment diagram. Uh, from A to B, we have this square or rectangle. Uh, so, the area is 2 times 1.5. So, that is 3. Horizontal. So, first degree slanting. Uh, then, 3 minus... 6 times 1.5, so 6 times 1.5 is 9, no? So, 3 minus 9, that is why we have negative 6. Uh, horizontal, so first degree, line, inclined, no? Uh, then, negative 6 plus 4 times 1.5, so that is 6, close to 0. Okay? So, meaning, this is the maximum shear, no? Diba? And this is also the maximum moment of the beam. Na. Okay? Na. So, the maximum shear is negative 6 kN. Uh, but, we neglect the sign. No? Uh, so, alam naman natin yan sa statics. No? Sa, ano? Uh, yung sign sa direction lang yan. Di ba? Okay. So, in shear, upward or downward. Yung direction niya. Okay. So, formula VQ over IB. Na? For shear stress, horizontal shear stress, VQ over IB. Ito yung V natin. I, we have computed already I na, in the first question. Uh, how about Q? Na, so, ito yan. So, neutral axis. So, ang Q natin is the moment of the area. Is the moment of the area of this. Na, uh, part here. Uh, about the neutral axis. Uh, so, paano yan? Ganun pa rin, ah. Uh, so, ang gagawin ko dito, I will consider the upper portion lang uh, sa taas sa neutral axis. So, ang gagawin ko dito, itong upper part na rectangle, tapos I will subtract the upper part na hollow portion. Na? Huh? So, Q is area prime times bar y. Area and then the bar y is the centroid of the area from the neutral axis. Distance of the centroid of the area from the neutral axis. So, ito yan. Na? So, outer portion, 1 to 5 times 200. Uh, and the centroid is half of 1 to 5. So, 1 to 5 over 2, that is 62.5. Okay? Then, we have here... Uh, Inner portion, so 1 to 5 minus 25, 100 na lang. Tapos ito, 150. Uh, then half of 100 is 50. So I have the Q. Uh, then what is B? B is the width of the element 
in the with, with uh with of the element in the cross section for our shear stress. Uh, so in this case we use the neutral axis. So meaning ito yung ano natin. Ito yung part na to. Ha? Huh? For our B. And for our B that is dalawang 25. Ha? Huh? So B is 2 times 25 and that is equal to 50. Uh, so I think nandiyan na lahat no. VQ over IB. Uh, substitute na lang. Uh, but take note, convert this to Newton. Uh, Q is in millimeter cube, na area times distance millimeter cube. Moment of inertia millimeter to the fourth, and B is millimeter. Uh, so the resulting value here is in newton per square millimeter, and we know newton per square millimeter is mega pascal. Uh, so ito yon. Uh, FB is 0 0.608 mega pascal. Uh, then we have number three. Find the maximum bending stress acting on the beam. Uh, okay, so the maximum moment is six kilonewton meter. Uh, so maximum moment is six kilonewton meter. So for our bending stress, MC over I. So M, the maximum moment is six kilonewton. C here is half of to fifty. Uh, so, C is equal to 125. Koha? Na? Uh, because symmetrical ang ating beam. So, meaning the neutral axis falls at the centroid. Na? Geometric centroid. Uh, so, meaning C is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber. So, that is 125. So, I, we have computed that in number 1. Uh, so, substitute, we have 4.68 megapascal. Okay, basta may formula tayo, dapat ang units natin, newton, millimeter, uh, megapascal, for the stress, megapascal. Na? Uh, so, newton, millimeter, per square millimeter, so that will give us megapascal. Okay, uh, next, I have here another problem. Na? AW410 by 74 is fully restrained at both ends on a span of 8 meters. It carries a uniformly distributed live load of 20 kN per meter and a uniformly distributed dead load of 2 kN per meter including its weight on the entire span. Okay, so W410 by 74. So, 410 is the approximate depth. Uh, kaya, kung tingnan mo dito, yung actual depth is 413. Uh, diba? In our previous... Uh, video na uh, properties of the materials na properties of uh, uh, structural steel sections na uh, so w shape uh, this is part 1 of your plate number 1 na uh, so w 410 by 74 the first entry here 410 na approximately the depth and the second entry 74 is approximately the mass per unit Length. Uh, so, in this case, kilogram per meter. Uh, kaya, the mass here is 74.9 kilogram per meter. Uh, question, we have maximum bending stress. We have maximum web shear stress. Horizontal shear stress. And then, maximum deflection. Okay. Notice that the beam is indeterminate. No? Fully restrained. At both ends, meaning fixed at both ends. Uh, so, kung i-draw natin yan, ito yan, ha? Okay, ito yan. So, W is a combination of live load and dead load. Uh, tapos, i-add pa natin yung weight sa beam because the weight of the beam is not included in the uh, dead load. Uh, so, if we recall our beam formulas presented no, in the previous slides, Pag ito yung fully restrained beam natin, the maximum moment is at the support, WL squared over 12. The maximum shear is at the support, which is the reaction, na? Uh, WL over 2. Uh, dali lang, na? The total load here is W times L. Tapos, dalawang vertical reaction, so WL over 2. And the maximum deflection 
is WL to the fourth over 384 EI. And of course, pag symmetrical, ganito, that occur at mid-span. Uy, walang deflection sa support, ha? <laughs> Kasi pag may deflection sa support, nako, <laughs> bumigay yung support mo. Diba? Walang deflection sa support. Uh, WL to the fourth over 384 AI. Sige. So, maximum bending stress, we will use the formula. Ha? Uh, but first, we will compute the weight of the beam. Uh, 74.9 kilogram per meter multiply by G. Uh, so, kilogram per kilogram per meter yeah, multiplied by meter per second squared. Newton nito. Uh, Newton per meter. Uh, tapos, divide by 1,000 to convert to kilonewton per meter. Na, uh, tapos, I draw the beam with the dimensions uh, from the properties. Now, 180 BF, TF equal to 16, TW 9.7, D is 413. Uh, tapos, ito yung beam natin. Dali ha, may medyo mali dito. I-erase ko lang to. Uh, so, what is the total load of the beam? The total load is 20 kN per meter live load plus 2 kN per meter dead load. Uh, and then, we add the weight of the beam. So, a total of 22.735. Okay, we will now solve for the maximum moment, WL squared over 12. Uh, but, neglect the negative sign, ha? Okay. Uh, by the way, in BIM, recall natin yung discussion sa instructor natin noon. Ha? Uh, pag negative yung moment, naka-sad, uh, bend, sad. Uh, pero pag naka-positive moment, bend, smiley. Uh, kaya ito, kung tingnan mo dito sa ends, no? naka-sad to. Kasi ganito man yun kung mo-deflect. Uh, Diba ganito yan kung mag-deflect? Uh, kaya, the maximum moment here at the support is negative. Uh, maximum moment at mid-span is positive. No? Pangit i-draw sa, ano, sa dito, sa PowerPoint. Uh, kaya, mas gusto ko mag-draw talaga dun sa board. No? Okay talaga sa board. No? Okay. Sige. So, 1 to 1.25. Uh, and for bending stress, MC over I. Uh, so, M as computed, C, half of 413. Ah, uh, ito man yung neutral axis natin. Uh, so, 413 over 2. Uh, then, I, the moment of inertia. So, answer for number 1, 91.05 megapascal. Uh, number 2, compute the maximum web shear stress. Uh, so, web shear stress, na? Uh, so, sa discussion natin kanina, di ba? The flanges carry very small shear stress. Na? Uh, and mostly, the web is the one carrying the shear. Uh, so, ito yung web shear stress natin. No? Uh, by the way, to compute for the maximum shear, dalawang reaction to carry the total load. No? Dalawang support to carry the total load. So, 22.735 times 8 divided by 2. Uh, kaya ito yan dito. Uh, so, R is 90.94. So, the reaction at the support is also the maximum shear. Uh, then, we have the formula for the web shear. Uh, v max. Uh, v over DTW. DTW is equal to the area of the web. Na? Okay. So, we can substitute. Uh, so, 90.94 times 10 to the 3. Over 413 times 9.7, 22.7. Uh, next question we have here, maximum shear stress. Horizontal na. Okay. Uh, so, ito yan, neutral axis. So, we consider this area above the neutral axis na. Uh, have you noticed that yung web natin are the one no? Carrying most of the shear stress. No? Okay. So, I will use this part, no? which is the whole rectangle, and then I will subtract this hollow portion. No? 
Okay. So, Q is 180 times 206.5. Half of 143 is 206.5. Oh, and then the distance of the centroid is here, na? Oh, half of 206.5. So, that is why we have here 206.5 over 2. Uh, tapos, itong hollow portion, the shaded portion. So, 180 minus 9.7. Uh, kasi, wala man to. So, 180 minus 9.7. Tapos, the height is 206.5 minus 16. Uh, multiplied by the distance. So, somewhere here, na? 206.5 minus 16 divided by 2. Uh, so, Q is equal to 747-687.71. Or, pwede rin ito yung gagawin mo sa Q. Q is, ito, isa-isahin natin. I-green ko, ha? Uh, I will choose the green one. Uh, ito. Uh, moment of inertia here, or moment of the area, I mean. Moment of the area with respect to the neutral axis. Okay. Uh, and also, the other one is the moment of inertia of this web with respect to the neutral axis. Okay? Uh, so, ano na? So, 180 times 16. And then, the distance is 206.5 minus half of 16. Kasi, that is from here up to the neutral axis. 206.5 minus 8. Uh, tapos, itong web. Uh, by the way, para medyo na kulang ha. Ilagay ko lang sa taas. Na. So, 9.7. Medyo na kulang to. 9.7 times the web length. And the web length is 206.5 minus 16. Uh, tapos, i-multiply ng 206. 206.5. Minus 16. And then you divide it by 2. Divide by 2 because that is the distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the web portion. Uh, so if you compute, still you can get Q equal to 747-687.71. Okay, then we can now solve for horizontal shear VQ over IB. So, V, Q over I, B. I, B is 9.7. Huh? Uh, the width of the web. Okay. Kuha. Now, recall lang yan. Huh? Let's recall from our strength of materials. Uh, okay. Next. Compute the maximum deflection. Okay. So, we have already the formula W, L to the fourth over 384EI. But ang ano lang sa steel beam na sa steel uh, deformation uh, for steel yung ano lang yung live load lang ang kino-consider natin uh, because that is considering that during construction the deflection can be limited no can be eliminated by camber uh, so let us say ito yung beam natin na uh, dapat mag-deflect yan uh, due to the dead load, the weight itself. Uh, pero, pwede natin i-camber up. Yun. I-camber up natin yan during construction so that when you have the load, no, ma-eliminated na ang computation sa dead load. Especially if the dead load consists of the weight of the uh, member itself. Okay? So, our live load is 20 kN. So, kilonewton per meter. I mean, ha? 20 kilonewton per meter. Pero in this formula, dapat W should be a newton per millimeter. Na? L should be in mm. O niya, E, moment of inertia, ano? Uh, ano ba yung E? Modulus of elasticity of steel is 200,000 megapascal. Ah, nandiyan yan sa second video. First video ba? I think, no? Properties of steel materials. Uh, and I is a moment of inertia. By the way, yung kilonewton per meter, that is the same as newton per millimeter. Ha? Uh, newton per meter, that is the same as newton per millimeter. Uh, kasi, kilonewton to newton, ha? Kilonewton to newton, we need 
to multiply by or divide by 1,000 or multiply by 1,000. Tapos, the denominator, meter to millimeter, need na naman natin na mag-multiply ng 1,000. No? So, meaning, na cancels out lang yan. Uh, so, 20 kN per meter is the same as 20 newton per millimeter. Okay, so I think all the values are already there, na? Uh, so, length is 8 meters, so 8,000 to the fourth. E, 200,000 megapascal. I computed or given, na, in the problem, 275 times 10 to the six, Given from the properties. Uh, so, this is 3.88 mm. Okay? So, in your activity, na, possible, you encounter other, uh, you encounter other types of beams. So, possible, nandyan sa list sa common loadings or pag wala, na, uh, dapat talaga alam mo kung paano mag-solve ng shear and moment diagram. Pag ma-involve yung deflection, of course, uh, you can use the deflection in the, ano, uh, sa uh, theory of structures natin, na? Okay, sige. So, that's all for today, ha? Huh? Uh, this video, that ends our discussion. So, uh, I hope uh, you enjoy viewing my video. No? Thank you for viewing my video. Uh, so, bye-bye. Keep safe, everyone. God bless us all.